Hey guys, Jordan here and welcome to a tutorial on how to do rack focus in Magic Lantern on pretty much any camera, Canon camera that supports it. So the way rack focus works is when you normally try and do a, a focus pull, which is when you slowly change the focus from one point to the other, it basically it can be a bit shaky and not a very even focus, especially if you don't have the best of focus rings on your lens. So what the rack focus enables you to do is it actually enables you to make the camera do this automatically which actually makes it a lot smoother and a lot nicer looking and more professional so the way to go about doing this is you first need to press the bin icon on your camera to get into the magic bullet Men magic bullet magic lantern menu you then need to scroll across using the wheel on the top of your camera to focus and this is where you can find all the settings related to the rack focus so what you can see in here is the rack delay which lets you set how long you want it to be before the rack focus starts so basically you can start rolling your recording and then hit the button and then two seconds later in the setting I have it now it will start doing the actual rack focus and you can just change this all the way up to whatever number you want and back down again it's pretty much up to you as to what you want so I just have that set to two just because it allows the camera a bit of time to steady and means you don't get any camera shake when you're doing your rack focusing so uh, the focus endpoint is something that you'll set later, which I'll show you. The focus step delay is how, how long it waits between each step of focus. So when you have it set to wait and 20 milliseconds, that means it's gonna wait till it gets to it completes that step, and then it's going to wait another 20 milliseconds and then move and do the next step. So what the steps are is when the focus ring moves, it moves in what are called steps. Now, depending on your lens, depends on how far this focus like equates to sort of thing and you can change the step size here by doing either one two or three steps at a time I have it set to one for the smoothest but if you want it to be a bit of a faster pull and you don't want to have to speed it up again in post then you can set it to three but I do it to one and then if I need it any faster I can then speed it up in post uh, but it is entirely up to you as to what your needs are so the way you set this up is first off you need to have your camera set to what your second point of focus wants to be so the thing you want it to focus to you then want to hit the bin icon and then you want to go to focus endpoint and then when you're on focus endpoint you then use the arrow keys see there if when I use the arrow keys it actually moves the focus point so you hold down the arrow keys and focus it on where you want it to be so you just hold these arrow keys down and it will slowly focus its way through the range until you get to the point that you want it to focus on so when you have done that, it can take a while depending on how far the focus ring actually has to move. But anyway, we'll leave it as that. So it's minus 268 steps. So that's how far it is actually going to move when you do this rack focus. So then you just hit the set button and then you are pretty much ready to go. So then what you need to do is if you hit your rack focus now, you can actually preview it. So if you see it counts down and then we'll give you a preview of the rack focus. So there you go, you can see it slowly moving and your focus point moves back to the original and you can just switch between like back and forth in between them and there we go we have nearly finished getting right the way back to our original point right there and then if you hit it again then it's going to count down again and then it's going to move back to the position with the focus being further away now you can play around with this to work out which way works best for you i find that you can go from far to near works quite well but also equally going from near to far may suit you better depending on what it is you need to do but anyway if you want to then record this then all you need to do is hit your record button and then wait for it to start recording so wait for your red dot to start flashing in the top of the screen and then just hit rack focus and it will then rack focus it for you and it will be recorded and saved to disk now i'm going to put this in uh, it's probably going to go in at the start of the video so you can actually see what it looks like but it basically works very very nicely and gives you really nice smooth focus and then what you can do is you can play around with the step size and things like that just so you get it perfectly as you want so anyway guys thank you for watching this tutorial on how to use rack focus on magic lantern got it right there and uh, please subscribe for more quick tutorials on filmmaking and pretty much everything i'm just going to cover as many tutorials as i can related to any form of camera operation and graphics so let me know in the comments below if you want any other tutorials for anything like this and i'll do my best to do them so anyway guys thanks for watching please subscribe rate comment and goodbye